Okay, folks, so I'm going to share with you um, a multiple of items that I have sold over the last few months, uh, probably last 90 days, um, for $100, around $100, $100 and more, and so forth. So let me go on and get right into it with this item right here. This is a, a roaster for coffee beans. It roasts coffee beans. Um, I, this is like the second one. I found one before, but... Um, it didn't have all the pots to it, so I just sold the various pots. But this is a complete one with the instructions and everything. I paid six dollars for it and I sold it for a hundred bucks. Next item this right here came off of some kind of other electronic item that I had brought. I had two, I think I had either two or three of these. Um, um they're like look almost look like fr or fuse or something like that. You screw into the item. But anyhow, this is called an element, and I sold it by itself for a hundred bucks. I think for the whole unit, and plus these two items that I sold off of it, I think I paid. I know I paid under fifteen bucks for them, but that right there sold for right at a hundred bucks. This next item is um, I this brand right here. I'm very familiar with, and I run across it a lot in the thrift stores. A pretty regular basis um they got different uh models um they go for different prices and stuff like that so but they're usually priced pretty cheap and this one right here wasn't as cheap um it was priced at 25 dollars and i was able to I, I think i ended up went going down on the price on it i had two of them and um so i think i saw both of them right for a uh, hundred dollars i'm not exactly sure the other one I made be a little cheaper but anyhow, I sold it right at a hundred dollars. This brand right here is um pretty. It's a very good brand when it comes to stereo speakers, um, computer speakers, and so forth like that. Um, I had dealt with a lot in the past. I paid fifteen dollars for this set from the thrift store, and I sold it for a hundred dollars. More of a vintage set, but it sounded very nice and everything. It was in good condition. It had all the wires to it. That's key and so forth. Uh, that it have all the wires to it and everything. It really helps in selling the item. Next item. Now, I do sell a lot of speakers. I sell a lot of subs and so forth. And um, so this one right here, this brand right here is another great brand um, that, I, that I run across a lot um, in the thrift store and stuff like that. So... This item right here, I sold for a hundred dollars. Uh, subs a lot of time they're heavy to ship and so forth like that. But the thing with this one right here, at the thrift store I went to, I got it on um, the letter on it was for was for a dollar, so I only paid a dollar for the subwoofer. And I sold for a hundred dollars, so that was a great deal. And it worked and everything, um, and so forth like that. So that was a good thing. And these right here, they you can get like a wireless adapter where you can hook it up to it. And play through your phone and see if it works. Most time, if the brand is good, um, and it sells good, even for parts and repair, a lot of times the amp might not work, but you can still sell non-working amps off of some subwoofers. And the speaker itself, you can pull out and sell by itself and everything. Even the support feet on the bottom sometimes sell and so forth to certain models. Okay, so next one. This is the five disc CD player. And so I sell a lot of vintage um, five disc, uh, one disc CD players, especially the CD recorders that sell great. This is a CD player. I picked it up for 15 bucks. It had a remote to it, which was great. And I was able to sell it for $99, uh, a great deal there and so forth. This is the bread maker. This brand right here is a great brand. Uh, I think this is like the maybe this. I think the third. I want to say um, bread maker from this brand that I have sold. And um, every time I see them, they and they and these are mock cheap as well. They'll never price them high. You can always get them. I paid ten dollars for this. You see, it has the double bucket. Most bread makers come with a single bucket. And it has two, the two paddles. And having the paddles in the bucket with it is key. A lot of times you find the paddles maybe be missing and so forth. Uh, even without this working, you can sell the bucket by itself. And this bucket right here, 
You probably sell for about 50 bucks. You can sell the paddles by yourself as well. You get some set or some individually. Um, maybe for anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks per paddle and so forth. So that was a great buy there too. I was happy with that. And um, next item. This right here is a VHS to DVD recorder combo. It had no remote with it. Let's see the title and everything. Uh, these, again, I typically don't pay that much um, for these type of items. Um, they usually, because they, they vintage, and a lot of people don't you know think much of them. I paid more than usual for this one. I paid 20 bucks for it. Um, but I was itself 100 bucks, and it's not that expensive to ship these. Actually, most of the time, the shipping is under 15 bucks for me. Um, to ship them even as far away as California or to New York and stuff like that. So that was a great deal. Next, uh, I don't typically um, mess with golf clubs, but these I ran across. Of. I've got a whole bag. It had the bag itself was the same brand, Ping. It had 15 clubs in it. Not all of them were this brand, but I have sold several of them. Um, and this one right here, um, I sold for a hundred dollars and so uh, 15 clubs. I sold the bag as well. Um, you'll probably see in a minute and stuff like that. And I sold a couple other clubs, a few other clubs since then, not at this price range, but I think I sold one for 80, another one for about 60 and, um, and stuff like that. So a great deal there. This right here took me a while to get rid of it. Um, I kept lowering the price on it and um, until I got it to a price where it would sell. I paid $7 for it and I got I loaded it down to 100 and I just let it sit there and it finally sold a TV mount. It's a different kind of one um, and stuff like that, but um, they, they sell pretty good. I was surprised I had to take it down that low, but this is the way the ball bounces sometimes. But for $7, I was glad to be able to get a hundred and gross profit from that. Here is another sub um, that I was able to um, get. And this brand right here, Energy, that's another brand um, that I'm very familiar and I deal with um, a pretty consistent basis. I paid $13 for this sub here. As you can see, I sold for a hundred dollars. A lot of my items sometimes I'll sit on them for a while and I lower the price on them over time. Then I get down to a certain bottom line price and I'll leave it there because I have to take consideration because I got free shipping, the cost of shipping the item and things of that nature. I fully test them and everything, make sure that it works and everything. I did get positive feedback on this one. And uh, most of my items I do get positive feedback on, but some you get no response and sometimes you might get a return on. This right here is a blender base. Uh, this brand right here, I usually pick up this brand as far as food processes. Um, I run across them all the time. They're very inexpensive to get typically. Sometimes some stores overprice them and I just don't mess with them. But nine times out of ten, I'm going to run across this particular brand. Now, I for the whole blender, I paid 40 bucks, but... Uh, divide the base um, and, 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 um, and then I have I got the um, the jar as well and so for the container so the base by itself I paid 20 bucks for it divide that 40 uh, into two parts and so I was able to sell it for a hundred bucks I think somebody had sent the offer to me lower than a hundred and I had to stick to my I actually uh, I had it a little bit higher than a hundred and I think I went in and changed the price. And I told her that I would do a hundred for a ninety nine ninety nine for it and stuff like that. So that was a good deal as well. It worked it fine. Very very good brand. Here is the golf bag that had all the clubs in it. And so as you can see, ninety nine dollars um, that I sold it for. Not not that difficult to ship and stuff like that. So that was a great deal. They had the cover to it that go over the clubs as well. The bag. I always look for make sure that it doesn't the zippers all work on these bags. 
I made sure they didn't have no big old holes or tears in them, damage and stuff like that. This one was in great condition. I just had to wipe off some dust. This right here is for basically drying your nail. Um, it's almost like commercial grade um, and stuff like that. New D-Cell for oh, I think over $200, maybe up to $300. This one was used. I think uh, mine was the only used one up there, I want to say. I'm not exactly sure. But um, this is the first time I ever ran across um, this type of um, nail dryer and so forth. I use them typically mess with nail dryers because most of them um, don't really bring no money. But this particular one caught my eye. I paid $20 for it and um, I sold it for $100. This is another golf, rolling golf bag. Uh, I think this is like, what, the second one of these at least I sold. Um, and usually they, they, they're pretty expensive too that I find them. I think I found this one, I want to say, uh, for about, I think it was under 20 bucks for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, it was like 17 bucks I paid for it. So it was on, it was on sale, 15% off. I ran a sale and they got it for $102. It was in great condition. They want to know if the latch on it worked, that that latch and stay shut. And it did. It has a combination lock on it. And of course, never know the combination. But people buy them anyhow and so forth. They're great for um, you traveling or whatever to put your clubs in. And this right here is pretty interesting. This is a, a, a case that went to a camera that I brought. And uh, what's so crazy about it, when I was looking at the camera at the thrift store, the lady behind the counter never um, uh, show, uh, no, never presented me with the case that goes to it. Uh, she probably didn't know. It was a customer who actually pointed out to me, hey, there's a case behind the counter that goes to that camera. I have not yet to sell the camera. This case sold right away for 100 bucks. I paid, uh, I think I paid um, 80 bucks for the camera case and um so that was not too bad and so forth um to, to um for that and so forth so and this right here this brand is another brand that i have messed with um various parts this is a home um like boom box type deal uh, i also have ran across um uh, the uh, the car the ones for your car set up and so forth and um and so great deal on this one um i'm trying to think what i paid for it um i think i paid like maybe 10 bucks i want to say um for it um but usually like they're not that expensive either and stuff like that um this boom yeah i paid like nine dollars for it so it was on sale they got it for 20 percent off and for 100 bucks uh if you if you get the um uh, transmitter uh, or the receiver rather which is right there in the middle. If you get that and it has a lifetime membership for that alone, that piece of unit right there alone, you can get over a hundred bucks. Um, some speakers here that I sold as well. Uh, I had like about, I think about five of them and stuff like that. Um, so I think with this order right here, this was a sale I had. So they bought two of them and it came out to $110. Um, so, uh, I have never dealt with this type of model before. This brand, Yamaha, yeah, I've run across them and, and, and sell, have sold plenty of them and stuff like that. Um, so, like, this one here, I think they, they came out to, like, $7.50 each I paid for them. So, for for the two that they brought, it came out to 15 bucks and sold for $110.48. This speaker right here, when I ran across it in the thrift store... I kind of wanted to keep it for myself, for my car, because I was doing um, the sound system in my car, messing around. I was doing stuff to it, and I know it's a good speaker. I picked it up for twenty five bucks. Um, take, I took a flight, took the, you know, took a chance on it, and so forth like that. It worked it just fine, and I was able to sell it for one eleven out of nine. It was on sale, twenty percent off, so they got a great deal for it. And it was used and everything, but it's a great brand and a great model speaker. This right here, Cisco. Um, I have sold some of this stuff in the past. 
um, telecommunication stuff, but not a whole lot of it to speak of. This ticket I have right here, I paid $25 for it. I sold for $119.99. And I had to sell it untested because there's no way I could test it. You got to have, it's really for like um, commercial business, whatever. And so there's no way for me to test it. You got to have other components of the system and everything to be, be able to test it. But for, but for that price, um, great deal. I have sold several of these in the past. Every time I see them in the thrift store, they're priced under ten dollars, and um, this, this they're a great little deal. Um, people love to use them for traveling on an airplane or whatever because it fits right up under the seat to put their pet in and stuff like that. Um, and so usually I pick them up. I pick this one up for ten dollars exactly, and the person lived in Puerto Rico. I had a price like at seventy dollars or. Um, I think it's about seventy dollars, and um, they wanted to pay for the extra shipping, so I put the extra shipping onto the price to have shipped to Puerto Rico because it's like forty dollars. I think to have it shipped to Puerto Rico, and so they paid for it and got it. So that was a great deal. Here's another combo v VHS DVD player, um, Samsung's another brand that I deal with a whole lot on all kind of electrical components. And so forth like that, um, speakers, uh, VCRs, DVD combo players, and things of that nature. Um, so I really, I really like Samsung brand. Uh, this one right here, I think I paid ten dollars for it. Yeah, I paid ten dollars for it, and it worked just fine. No remote, and sold for hundred and twenty dollars. A lot of time, it's not, it's the brand, but a lot of time, it's the model number. So this is because an uh, item has a brand to it. It's a great brand. doesn't mean that everything that they produce has great resale value. So you have to look up that model number to find out. Oh, these are nice looking speakers, some Poke speakers, Poke audio. That's, I, I, like I said, if I ain't said it already, I sell a lot of Poke audio speakers as well. And um, these right here. A very nice set, very good condition. I don't think there was no damage to them. Um, I picked them up for twenty five dollars, and I sold them for a hundred and twenty dollars. This right here is another Samsung again, one hundred and nineteen dollars. Um, I can't let me see what what I paid for this. Um, usually, like for typically for these, I will pay, I will pay up to probably twenty twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Um, for the this one, as you can see, it has a remote for it, or with it rather. I paid seven dollars actually for this one, um, and so it worked great. They usually always work great. Sometimes one side might not work, the DVD side might work, the VHS might not work, or vice versa. If the VHS is not working, usually I can go in there, open it up, and clean on the inside with an alcohol pad and get it to work. It's because dust and stuff builds up on the inside and it might not read the tape properly. I have sold, I know one of these in the past before, and I think I sold, uh, I'm going to say two. Um, and usually when I, I, I paid a dollar for this one. I call it on uh, the letter. They have a letter, just one of those I go to, and, and, and if, if, if it's up on, the, on that 99 cent sign, that means anything with that letter on there is nine nine cent, and I picked this baby. They had a price at seventy something dollars originally, and I got it for a dollar, because it fell on nine nine cent day. This is a printer. I have found printers brand new in the box in the thrift store, unopened, uh, still factory sealed, um, and so like that. And and uh, most of them I get, unless they this price ridiculously, uh, where there's not no enough meat in the bone for me, um, I get them and stuff like that. And some used printers, I had have had one problem, one recently, we got returned, um, but I was able to take pots off of it and, um, and put them pots up and everything. I sold one of the pots so far. Uh, but this one here, I paid $12 for it, brand new in the box, no problem. Um, so that was a great deal. Here's Sony. Sony, you know, uh, the, a lot of these brands, you might remember them. Um, if you're old enough and stuff like that, um, it's still now. They still make great um, products and so forth. 
Um, I saw this. Uh, I got the amp. The amp on the bottom is mine, and the speaker um, is mine. But uh, I use them to test, and I put them in the pictures to show that it's working. And um, but this one right here was pretty good deal. I'm trying. To, I'm not sure exactly what I paid for it. Uh, let's see if I can spot real quick what I might have paid for it. I know um, a lot of Sony stuff that I get. Uh, I don't hardly pay nothing for it, and I make great money off of it, and so far like that. Um, yeah, on this one, I'm not exactly sure what I paid for it, uh, but um, I'm surprised I came oh, CDP. One second, folks. Let me try to see if I can pull it up real quick. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know what I paid for this one, but it sold anyhow. It sold for one hundred thirty-nine dollars. Let me push it on here. Oh yeah, this is not all clad um, pots, pans. This is the fun do set. Um, I have, I don't sell a lot of all clad. I do sell a lot of the brand Solid Master. Um, when I say a lot, um, I mean I have sold I have sold a lot over the over the years and so forth like that. Um, for this set right here, in fact, I sold, um, uh, let me see, I sold other, uh, all class. I think the last thing outside of this I sold was electric grill. It, it had some damage to it, but I sold it for 90 bucks. This right here, I paid 17 bucks for it and sold for $129.99. It was brand new in the box. I took everything out of the box to show that everything was there. And sometimes you might want to do that, especially if the box is open and it's not factory sealed. You might want to pull it out, put everything out. So a person can say, hey, it, you know, this power he was missing or whatever and stuff like that. I did, That's what I just do. You know, that's what I do. I had got several of these. These were brand new. They're like surge protectors. Um, and I think a person must have brought several of them because uh, I know I didn't have them at that price. I think they brought like three of them and stuff like that. But um, people were passing them up. A lot of stuff I get, people pass up. I paid eight fifty a piece for them. And I sold all, yeah, it was three of them. I sold them all three of them to one person for one thirty four eighty five. So that was real good. So I'm looking at like twenty four, twenty five, twenty five fifty that I paid for all three of them together, and sold for one hundred thirty four eighty five. Pelican, I have dealt with Pelican in the past. Um, gun cases mostly. Um, I think I got a. It's the kind of other item that's 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 uh, um got the Pelican brand. It's the phone. They make phone cases, military grade. Um, the gun cases, the military grade. Um, some of them fetch real good money. I paid ten dollars for this one. I sold it locally here, and so it wasn't that far for it to go. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have took that. I wouldn't have knocked it out. down to one hundred twenty-five dollars. Or the guy said, "Hey, I'm right here in Dallas." Um, I could have really dropped off at his house, but I don't do that. And I shipped it to him, and um, he paid $125 for it. And I paid $10 for it, so it was a good deal for me and for him. Yamaha, I picked these up in the thrift store. Uh, when I first seen them, they were like laying in the buggy thing that they had just pushed out, this big old um, um, tote thing that they had pushed out. And, um, man, I, it was two two boxes. One had the sub in it, and this one right here. I believe uh, this is a sub. Another one had the other speakers, so it's like a surround sound um, system. And um, so, as soon as I seen them, I grabbed them both, and um, and uh, I had no problem paying the price on them and stuff like that. I forgot. I think for, for the sub, I can't think exact. I think it was like twenty dollars I paid for the sub, and it sold for one hundred and thirty dollars. Great deal. K E F Q series. This is the first time I ever ran across this brand, um, but didn't do too bad. I paid twelve fifty for it, and so for one twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, great sounding speaker, and so if I ever run across them again, I know what I'm looking at. Uh, these one person brought them up, both of these together. I paid four dollars a piece for them. And they're the candle holders and they hurricane candle, they call them hurricane candle holders because they're enclosed in glass. Uh, keep the wind from blowing out the candle. You know. And um, so they're new in the box. And one of them was missing, uh, I think, the handle to it. But I had never seen these before. 
and I didn't see it on eBay, and so I had to go off of what I thought they might be worth, and I ended up selling them both for right at one thirty. This right here, rotisserie. Um, this was brand new in the box. Again, I was at the thrift store when they came out in the cart and was putting it out. And as soon as I seen it and I seen the price on it, I hurried up and grabbed it. And I, I opened the box. And because usually, like a lot of times, it's just a vintage item. And it looked like it's been in storage or somebody's garage. Um, I pour everything out right there in the store to make sure that there's no um, little crawly bugs or anything in there and so forth. Usually it'd be like them flat, I call them paper bugs. I don't know if that's a correct name for them or not. Um, but there was mm -hmm. one inside there. And so I, I dumped it out on the floor in the store, shook everything, made sure it was, it was good, and took it home and everything. And again, as you can see, since the box is open, I put everything out and stuff like that so a person can see what was all in there. Page 20. Sold it for one thirty. Great deal there. This Sony right here, what I had to do here, it did not come with a power adapter. And so I had to order one off eBay. It was only a few bucks to order the power adapter. I think it was maybe under 10 bucks, I want to say. But anyhow, um, so as soon as I got the power adapter, um, I was able to plug it up to see if it worked. And it worked just fine. And stuff like that. The pedal worked it fine. I paid four dollars for this and sold it for one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. That's not including what I paid for the power adapter. So you might say I paid fifteen dollars for everything with the power adapter, and still a great profit. Here's another combo player, Toshiba. Um, that's of course an, uh, another great brand and stuff like that that I like dealing with. Um, I have sold this brand and a Panasonic brand. I think it was in the past. Uh, I sold one of them. Uh, actually, you'll see it after a while. Um, one of them that I sold because it was it was new, and so I, I was able to sell it for a real good price. This one right here, I paid ten dollars for it and sold it for one thirty. Had the remote and the manual with it. It had cables with it too as well, but I didn't include them. Um, and stuff like that. But the manual and the remote, I did. This is an ice cream maker. Um, I had, This is like the, probably the second one that I have sold. Um, and stuff like that. Um, again, this, this brand right here is a great brand that I mess with on their stuff and everything. They, just build, they build well quality stuff that lasts for a long time. And people just like the brand so much. I mean, like people misplace parts or lose parts, or whatever things break, and so um, they part their parts sell for me um, without no problem um, and stuff like that on a continuous basis. Um, of course, you know this ice cream maker was heavy because it has, it has a uh, the motor and everything in it and so like that, the uh, compressor in it and so like that. But it worked it just fine. Uh, I, I I know I didn't pay that much at all for it. I know I paid them the twenty bucks for it, but I sold it for a hundred and fifty dollars, as you can see there, and so forth. Next, this right here is pretty interesting. Uh, it's like I don't know if you ever seen the big large laser disc from back in the day. They look like a record player. I uh, look like a record rather, a large record, but. In the center, you can also play a regular size CD. And so, it's a karaoke. Um, a lot of this, the stuff um, like this sells pretty good as well. I've sold some for some hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This one right here, anyhow, um, I paid, let me see what I paid for. I paid $20 for this one and sold it for $139.99. And it had no remote or nothing like that with it. It's just a unit itself. Uh, anything like dealing with back, the back, because people have so much back problems and stuff like that. Um, man, people pay for this stuff. Um, you run, run across the right equipment. Um, it always sells and it sells fast. I paid $6 for this from Goodwill. And and I was able to sell for, they got it on sale for $151.99. Um, this is, uh, uh, of course, as you can see, a hockey nest, a net, 
Uh, it's real heavy duty. Um, it's a heavy box and so forth like that. But um, I think I, I think I want to say that I paid um, about twenty twenty five maybe for this. But I, it might it might have been less. Um, but I sold it for one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, this right here is brand new in the box. West Bend is another good brand and so forth like that. Um, this right here, man, I could not, it was discontinued. So, like, you can't buy it from the manufacturer no more and so like that. And mine was the only new one I seen up on eBay. So, I had to go at what I you know, what a new one might be worth. I looked at the used ones. The used ones were selling some of them for um 80 something dollars and stuff like that and so i priced mine at right at about 150 dollars and it sold i paid 25 dollars for it sewing machines i have sold sold sewing machines um pots to sewing machines and so forth they had very uh very good um luck with them and i like this one right here uh, baby lock it's a good brand and stuff like that i can't remember exactly what i paid for this but i know i didn't pay much for them um, I sold the antique one. I think you'll see after a while as well. It was um, hand crank and so forth. Now this right here, I paid under fifteen dollars for. Uh, it was I think I paid under thirteen for it. It's brand new in the box, unopened. Um, it's the wine decanter that hangs upside down. It has a little veil at the bottom. You can let the wine out into the glass. Um, I could have probably got more for it, but I just wanted to flip it real quick. Since I didn't pay that much for it, and so I sold it for one fifty. Another bread maker, um, it's similar to the other one, um, and so forth like that. Um, great brand, great brand. Um, this they also make um, like great espresso makers, um, coffee machines, and so forth like that. And I have sold some of them too as well. Uh, we'll run across that two of them that that um, man I sold for hundreds of dollars. And stuff like that. I can't remember exactly what I paid for this one, but I'm, I guarantee you I paid probably under fifteen dollars for it. Okay, this is another brand that's good when it comes to electronics, um, speakers, uh, and stuff like that, um, disc players and things of that nature. Um, I, so you can see right here, it sold for one hundred and sixty nine ninety nine. Again, I have them shown in the picture. The amp that I use to test stuff with and everything, the speaker that I use. Uh, so yeah, six discs play. I paid thirty dollars for this one, so I paid up for this one. I paid thirty dollars for it. Had no remote to it, but I knew I can get money out of it, so I sold it for one seventy. Um, great profit there and so forth. We go on. Let me see. Here is this one is was great. Um, JBC is another good brand. They got so many different good brands and electronics and so forth. Um, JVC, I don't think I deal with as, as much, but uh, when I do run across them, um, it, it it worked. It got like um, you can record um, um, from you no know, disc to disc and so forth like that. So it worked it just fine. I sold it for one hundred eighty nine dollars. I paid seventeen dollars for it. Great profit there as well. Vacuum cleaners, vacuum cleaners. I don't typically mess with um just because um you know when they're in the thrift store most time they very really well used uh, people got pets and everything and they just so clogged up and a lot of them just don't do nothing for me to mess with even for parts except for when i run across certain brands like this one my first time ever messing with it i paid 17 dollars for this and sold it for 189.99 and it was easy to ship too as well um, compared to other vacuums that are very difficult. Um, this one's very, everything just came apart easily and so forth and was able to condense it and put it into a box and ship it and no problem. This was new in the box as well. I'm familiar with this brand. I probably have sold it maybe a couple of times in the past. The speakers, computer speakers, uh, I paid $15.50. Uh, brand new in the box, man. Great deal. I sold it for $199.99. Again, I could not find no new set like this. And so I had to price it at a while. Uh, you know, uh, something that I think that somebody would pay for it. And accepted for not too long of a time. 
um, maybe a few months before it sold, but I was able to get two hundred dollars for it. Great deal for something I paid fifteen fifty for. These right here, purifier, uh, room purifier machines. This brand right here, Austin Air. I have found. I remember the very first one I found. I paid ten dollars for it, and every time I see them, I know exactly what it is, and they usually price low. This one right here was priced the highest I ever paid for one. It's priced at fifty dollars. The reason why I mean I would I would have got it regardless, but the reason why uh, I like these is because even the filter on the inside, I pulled the filter from my, this one as you can see in the title, no filters included, because the filter was not the original filter. It was like an aftermarket filter, and it was very lightweight, and so it was I wasn't chancing putting up there trying to sell it, but using the filters themselves, I can get sixty, uh, seventy bucks for a used filter. But the machine by itself, uh, without no filter included, I sold for two twenty nine uh, ninety nine, and um, so every time I see these, I hurry up and, and, and usually get them, and they usually they always work. There's not no problem with them and stuff like that. Um, the fire's not working and everything, so that was a great deal. Fifty bucks, two twenty nine. Now this one, uh, I kind of pulled the trigger too fast on this one when I brought it. Just to, by the size of it, long, even though it folds down, I was able to fold it down and condense it as much as possible to pack and ship it. It was just real difficult. This was like a rescue mission. Me making, me rush, uh, rush, <laughs> rushing, me rescuing the hundred dollars that I spent on it. And um, it was missing the monitor, which I didn't you know give note to. It sits on top, and could that by itself is worth like seven, five, eighty bucks. But anyhow, somebody got on sale, fifteen percent off, two hundred and twelve dollars. I forget, I think it cost me like maybe fifty, sixty bucks to ship it. And so after fees, I mean, that's oh man, I just made my money back on this item. And sometimes that happens, but not that often. <clears throat> this right here is the first time I ever messed with one of these uh, of this size. Usually, it's like it's like the small wooden boxes and stuff that, that I ran across and sold before. I felt like I sold one recently for like 80, 80 I think it like 80 bucks. Um, but this right here actually is the whole cooler. And um and the the uh, the guy asked me, he actually messaged me after me after he had got it and so forth. And I wasn't exactly sure what he's asking, but I paid fifty dollars for this and I thought he's asking like you no know, making like a statement that something's wrong with it. I thought he might return it, but I haven't heard nothing back from him. I guess he kept it and um and stuff like that because he really got probably a great deal on it for two twenty nine. Oh man, this is a trip. This is the first time I ever ran across one of these. Um, it's for like this is like old school. So this is for like editing videos, making videos, special effects to videos and stuff like that. You'd be surprised at how a lot of this old school stuff sells and still holds value and so forth my first time ever messing with this i paid six dollars for this six dollars and so for 229.99 and i was able to actually hook it up and test it and everything and it worked it just fine and so forth and so that was a great deal this brand right here martin logan it's the first time i ever ran across this brand and speaker um man i wish i could run across some more of this um I, I I have sold other speakers with the name Martin, but it wasn't the Logan at the end of it. Um, but this right here, this is just one single speaker, and um, man, that I, I think I paid like I'm gonna say I paid under thirty. I know I paid under thirty. I think I paid like twenty something dollars, if that much for it. But anyhow, I sold it for two hundred thirty bucks. And the person guy was very happy that I packed it well and stuff like that. So it kind of, it sits on your wall and it's kind of thin and stuff like that. So it'd be great for somebody with a surround sound system. This is the second one of these I sold. Um, no, Ovic, uh, Orac, however you pronounce that. They make um, air purifier machines. They make they especially known for their vacuums. And this is the second floor buffer machine that I have sold of theirs. Um and stuff like that. And um again, I think I paid twenty five dollars for this. Yeah, I paid twenty five dollars for it and sold for two hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. 
Yeah, I had never messed with this before. I haven't messed with boat stuff before, but not a whole lot. Um, not because I don't want to, it's because you just don't find much of it in the thrift stores. Um, but this right here was pretty cool. It's brand new in the box. I actually paid seventy dollars for this, but I knew I could make you know some money out of it, make some profit, and so I sold it for two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, so easy to ship. It's already in its own box and everything, brand new. Here goes the other sewing machine I was talking about, the hand crank sewing machine. Uh, everybody who knows anything about sewing machines know Singer. It's like, I don't know if it's the original brand or not, but it like go way back. I paid $40 for this. I was hesitant on pulling the trigger on it, um, but I, I had to keep looking because not all of them do as well. And this one here was missing uh, one of the plates uh, with a needle goes up and down that but on the case was i don't you can't see in this picture here but the case um that go the top that goes over the sewing machine was very nice condition it was wood and everything it's a hand crank machine so i sold it for 250 dollars all right here's that brand i was telling you about this is the espresso maker um man i found this in the thrift store um, the Salvation Army, and um, when I seen it, I already knew it was worth some money. I said, even for pots, it was priced at ten dollars. I but I got it home, wiped it down, cleaned it up, put water in it and stuff like that, and tested it, and it worked like a charm. And I sold it for two hundred and eighty dollars. The person asked me, please make sure you pack it well. I did, of course, like I packed all my items and it got there safely. Now, typically, a lot of medical equipment sometimes eBay does not allow um, you to sell on there, um, especially like breathing machines and so forth. And rightly so, because uh, people can be selling ones that, that don't function properly or, or might have problems with it and it can affect the person's health. And so forth but i paid a lot for this one i paid 130 dollars for it. usually I, I, that's probably the most in a while that i paid for an item but i knew i could make money off of it because this is it can like it has other parts that go to it that wrap around your leg you kind of put your leg into it like this cast type thing and it it sends air into there and it puts pressure on your on your muscles and so forth like that i guess for people with bad circulation but anyhow i was able to sell a machine for three hundred dollars this right here I, uh when i seen it in the thrift store i knew it was gonna be price high for one but i knew also that i'd be able to make some money off of it and um so i looked and yeah it was price high um i think i paid See. I think I want to say I paid like right at a hundred dollars for this item. Yeah, I paid a hundred dollars for it, and I was able to sell for two eighty nine ninety nine. Uh, somebody had messaged me; they want the attachments. Um, no, they didn't. They, they just want the attachment. I spent on sell them separately, and so now I keep it together for me to maximize my money. That's why I did and so forth. So I paid a hundred, sold for two eighty nine. After shipping the fees and everything, um, I sh I'm not sure, but I'm, I didn't quite double my money, but I made good profit. This is the other espresso machine. This is a real nice one because you see the plastic, the black plastic on top. That's where you grind your beans at and so forth like that. And, um, and then you can make fresh espressos and so forth like that. Sold this baby for $300. And the and it was so crazy about it, I got it from the same thrift store, the Salvation Army, and I think I paid right at like sixteen bucks or something like that for this. Now I, I paid fourteen bucks for it. And that's crazy. And sold it for three hundred dollars. Actually, I, I cleaned it up too and I tested it. I made sure everything worked the fine on it, the steam um, nozzle and everything. Make sure that worked and everything. And the person messaged me. And say that the thing made a lot of noise. It's supposed to. Um, and then they said that it, do, it doesn't work properly. 
And so I politely told him, sorry for the problem. Um, please return it and so forth. And um, then like a, about a, almost a week later, they closed the return case because uh, I knew there was nothing wrong with it. And, yeah, send it back to me. I'll just resell it and stuff like that because I knew there's nothing wrong with it and everything. Another thing I do with a lot of my electronics is that I mark them in ways. Um, I got like security stickers I put on them or I write a, a, mm -hmm. um, like a serial number that I use on all my electronics. I write it on the bottom and stuff like that in different places to keep people from trying to rip off and switching on me and so forth as much as I can. This is the other one I was telling you about. Now, this is the vintage unit. DVD, VHS recorder, VCR recorder. Excuse me. It was new in the box. The box was open. Somebody had opened it. The box probably was factory sealed. If it had been factory sealed, I probably could have got more for it. But because it was open, then I got a still a great price for it. I paid $30 for it. And I was able to sell it for four hundred dollars. You can't beat that, folks. It's very very nice profit and so forth. Ethan Allen. I'm very familiar with Ethan Allen um, and stuff like that. Their stuff and everything. I know that um, a lot of the stuff sells real good. Um, with his, you know, especially the vintage stuff and everything. So I picked these two babies up because they were Ethan Allen. Um, I took a look at them, make sure they were no damage and stuff like that. Anyhow, I picked them up from the thrift store. I paid 50 bucks for the pier, and I was able to ship them. I actually disassembled them because uh, the legs and everything came off and everything. I still had to put it in two separate boxes, and they did go here to Texas. So they helped me on shipping. Um, but, um, yeah, sold them for $400 for the pier. Customers very happy with them and satisfied. Let me positive feedback. This is... Well, my pride and joy here, I found this at an antique mall. Uh, I paid like 18 bucks for it. And um, man, it's an ice bucket. And I guess people who collect mid-century stuff, um, you know, wanted it. And so I sold it for $449, right at $450. So it's like that great deal. And sometimes you might not hear positive feedback from people so you would like to hear it back to see how they like the item and stuff like that. But I was no concern. As long as the item got there safely and they wasn't returning it, I was good. Okay, so this is the last and final item that I'm going to share with y'all. Uh, this amp right here, uh, when I seen it, first of all, I didn't know it was an amp. But once I looked at it closely, and usually amps don't have a lot of buttons or nothing like that. Um, this in the back, they have hookups and everything. I, I paid up for this a little bit. I paid ninety dollars for it, and the speaker on top of just demonstration purposes. But the the amp at the bottom right there, man, that baby right there was not no joke. It worked just fine. All the channels worked on it. Three channel power amplifier and stuff like that. Seven hundred bucks. I packed it very well to make sure it can get safely because it was a heavy joker and stuff like that. So that worked it real great for me. Okay, folks. So that's all I got for you as far as items that sell for over hundred dollars that have sold over the last three months or so. Um, thanks for checking out my video, and I'll see you all on the next one.